Brooke here from Hooked on Brooke and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here on my channel, I hope you find something that interests you or entertains you. Please take a look around, subscribe to my channel if you find something you like and hit that little like button too. Thanks guys. So today I'm going to show you how I make a windsock for my new Asden microphone. Now this is the SMX-15 microphone from Asden. This fits perfectly onto my new OMD EM5 Mark II camera. Now this camera is simply amazing. I've tested it out already. As you guys know, I do a lot of fishing and on the water it can be quite wavy and bumpy sometimes. This guy has superb stabilization. So this microphone is a brand new addition to my camera. It's gonna make sound really, really good. You know, one of my pet hates is having bad sound on videos. So hopefully this guy will be the solution. And now what I wanna do with this guy is add the windsock. So uh, it comes with this foam sock already, which is great, but the professionals do use what they call a dead cat. Now that's one of these guys that muffles the wind. And um, I'm gonna do a DIY one because I don't have the $70 or $80 or whatever it is to buy a brand new one from the shop. So let me show you guys how I make a DIY one. So I'm just gonna run through the materials that I'm gonna need for this project. So I've got some nice fluffy material here that I bought from my local spotlight or um, material shop. Uh, nice sharp scissors, a marker pen, measuring tape, I'm going to use a sewing machine, but if you guys are going to do this too, you might use needle and thread if you don't have access to a sewing machine. So let's get started. So I went ahead and cut my material to almost the right size. So to do that, I just grabbed my measuring tape and went around the microphone to figure out kind of what length we needed to make it. And I added a couple of centimeters on for uh, the seam. Measure the length, a little bit of length in the front and a little bit of length in the front in the back. So I've made it about 17 as well. Pretty much 17 by 17. Now to get the right shape for the microphone, I'm gonna slide this guy underneath. I'm gonna do it upside down so that I can see the edges. Basically gonna find the center here and push that in underneath this awkward little gap here that you guys probably can't see. Under there, push that right under, straighten it out, wrap it round. And you can basically see that I've pretty much cut it to the right length. That gives me uh, almost a centimeter to play with when I'm stitching it up. And same in the front here. Now the awkward part, is getting this shape here. So I am going to, with the marker, basically feel where the edge of the microphone is and the foam starts and just draw a line. So that's gonna give me the shape to cut out for the top. And because I did it symmetrical, I'll just be able to replicate it on the other side. So let's take that out. Fold it in half. There's my shape. This fluff is a nightmare to work with. As you can see when you cut it, so much comes off, it's ridiculous. So best to try and get that off now before sewing it up. Now underneath, the foam here has a little cutout too. So that's that part in there. So I might just go ahead and cut that little bit out just so it fits nice and snug. So finding the middle and just make a little incision. giving me a really nice shape to work with. So basically I've pinned the material so it doesn't move around. Got my sewing machine on straight stitch. Now I'm just gonna sew a seam down the side. A 
I'm just trimming some of these edges off so the microphone fits nicer inside the sock when we turn it inside out. I just went back and double stitched that edge because that'll be prone to coming undone. Now we're going to turn it inside out. I think this is going to be a super snug fit on the microphone but that's alright. Just get this little bit of fur off, out of this stitching. Looks pretty cool. This will be the tricky part, getting it on. Let's fit it on nice and tight at the top. Okay, a little bit more. Now pushing it under this little lip here. Sweet! That looks sick. Looks pretty good to me. The only thing is I reckon I need some elastic here. Now just to finish off these edges I'm gonna use the zigzag stitch to finish it off nicely. So back to putting elastic on here. Just going to do a basic measure, it's going to be nice and tight, so about that much. Measured my elastic. Okay, so let's try this again. I've put a nice little loop on the end here so that hopefully it won't fall off the back. Now let's turn her inside out. So cute, I'm just expecting it to purr. Love it. That just gives it a little bit more extra support at the back there, just so they're not gonna flap around. You could in fact put some double-sided tape here which I probably will end up doing, just so it sits nice. But I'm pretty impressed. So I hope you enjoyed watching me make this new windsock for my Asden microphone, guys. This guy is going to make all the difference to my audio quality out on the water while I'm fishing. If you're interested in any of the camera gear that I use today, guys, I'm going to link them all in the description below. I'm actually an Amazon affiliate now, so anything that you purchase through my Amazon link, I get a small percent from, and all of those little percents help me grow my business. If you found some value in this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if that's something you're interested in. Check out my Facebook page, Hooked on Brook, and also my Instagram page, hookedonbrook.online. I would love for you guys to start following me and checking out my adventures. Until next time, guys, I hope you're hooked on Brook.